Good day and peace be with you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you're listening to this, then God has blessed you with another day. Today's Monday, the 5th of February 2024. To God we give you all the glory. To God we give you all the honour. We thank you, Father, for blessing us with another day. Amen. Dear Lord God, we are into the second month of 2024. When we enter a new year, dear Lord Father, at the beginning of the new year, we all set ourselves goals, goals that we would like to pursue. Some being to lose weight, some being to exercise more, some being to be able to spend more time in devotion to you, some being to get out of debt, some being to eat healthier food, to travel more, to learn a new skill, to drink more water. So many things, dear Lord Father. All these goals, dear Lord Father, are very admirable and many can be achieved, but they can only be achieved, dear Lord Father, by your grace. And we are asking you, dear Lord Father, today, as we wake up, as we listen to your word, that whatever, dear Lord Father, that we set our hearts upon to achieve this year, continue, dear Lord Father, to give us the strength. Continue, dear Lord Father, to make a way for us, dear Lord Father, that it may come to pass. So long, dear Lord Father, that it is in accordance with your will. It says in Hebrews 12, 1 to 2. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Lord God, let us be able to endure our race. Let us be able to run with endurance to achieve what you want for us in our lives. That is what we pray, dear Lord Father, today. And we thank you for an answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, our reading for reflection today continues from the book of Galatians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. And the theme we have been given by the Presbyterian Church of Ghana to dwell on today is God does not judge by external appearance. Let us listen to the reading. Then after 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem, this time with Barnabas. I took Titus along also. I went in response to a revelation and meeting privately with those esteemed leaders. I presented them the gospel that I preach among the Gentiles. I wanted to be sure I was not running and had not been running my race in vain. Yet not even Titus, who was with me, was compelled to be circumcised, even though he was a Greek. This matter arose because some false believers had infiltrated our ranks to spy on the freedom we have in Jesus Christ and to make us slaves. We did not give in to them for a moment so that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. As for those who were held in high esteem, whatever they were makes no difference to me. God does not show favoritism. They added nothing to my message. On the contrary, they recognized that I had been entrusted with the task of preaching the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been to the circumcised. For God, who was at work in Peter as an apostle to the circumcised, was also at work in me as an apostle to the Gentiles. James, Cephas, and John, those esteemed as pillars, gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship when they recognized the grace given to me. They agreed that we should go to the Gentiles and they too the circumcised. All they asked was that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing I had been eager to do all along. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Remember to share the good news with others and have a blessed day. Amen.